Hi, I'm Vince Warren with Field Optics. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the various type of heads that you might attach to a tripod. What we're gonna do is, uh, first of all, talk about the most basic head style that you may be familiar with. It's a typical pan head. This is our FPH 200 model. It's a very, very solid model, really strong, and it really serves almost any application you'd ever wanna use it for. The way you adjust pitching on this type of head is with a twisting handle. So twist to unlock, and then twist to lock. This head also has a portrait landscape flipping option where you can go vertical and horizontal. This is another type of pan head. This is our latest release. It's called the Ultra Low Profile. We call it the ULP pan head. It's really cool because it's extremely small and its namesake is ultra low in profile, meaning it's only 1.9 inches tall. As compared to this head, you can see it's just a little over three inches tall. So that's why these uh, are different from another. This is extremely lightweight, much shorter, but a little bit more expensive. Similar to a pan head is a video head. You will notice it's a little bit taller, again, compared to the ULP. Yes, it's, it's quite a bit taller. It's about three and a half inches tall. The difference between a video head and a pan head is this. Internal to the mechanism are a series of springs or counterbalances so that this head has a tendency to automatically want to return to a horizontal home position. In the video world, that's important because it gives you much smoother motion and action. This head is fully rated for any size weapon that you want to shoot at, but also is ideal for optics, long lens photography, and binoculars. Another type of head that people use are ball heads. Ball heads are very popular and very common. I'm sure you've seen them before. They'll have either one or two control knobs to adjust the tension on a ball, which gives you rather unlimited uh, freedom of motion and a little slot that allows you to go down to 90 degrees. This is a 44 millimeter ball. This one is a 55 millimeter ball. But you're also going to notice there's quite a bit of a difference in the architecture, the design of these two heads. In this one, this is a simple cylinder and the locking mechanism is a series of tapered wedges underneath the ball. These dials jam those wedges up and down, which puts the force locking mechanism on the ball. This style is a split housing style, where this split that runs through here is collapsed and opened, which clamps on the ball. These have a much higher load capacity and are a little bit better suited for weapon supports. What you'll also see is what we call our bull top head. This, of course, doesn't look much like a head, it's just a disc. That's because the way this works is, this is integrated into the actual frame of a bull top tripod. Let me give you a little bit of demonstration. So this device here just sits in the bowl and it is adjusted by our tension control on the bottom. This gives you full dynamic motion anywhere you wanna go by adjusting whatever tension you want. It allows you to adjust how much reaction you want back from the head. This is fantastic. In fact, this is the best style for weapon supports. Also works really great for optics and video. Cool thing about this style, it allows you to get really low to the ground. We have a short handle that allows this to come almost right up flush, and you can do a lot closer to the ground than you would versus attaching a regular ball head. All right, well, those are the basic differences. They're all uh, fantastic in whatever application you want to use them for, but you need to kind of decide, do I want to have a one-size-fits-all, or do I want to have a more specialized head to suit my purposes better? Hey, thanks for listening. If you have any more questions, you can call us on the phone, visit our website, and at Field Optics Research, we make cool stuff.